In this video presentation, I would like to present a paper on gamified online quiz in large classes, undergraduate pharmacy student perceptions of learning. I am Dr. Aisha Saad Abdul Rahim, together with my collaborators, Associate Professor Dr. Azida Abu Zidan and also Dr. Yap Biokid from University of Science Malaysia, we were curious uh, because we were we were uh, actually implemented this gamified quiz and we wanted to find out about students' perception, our students' perception on the impact of the gamified online quizzes on their learning in a medicinal chemistry course, particularly in a large class setting. As you know that the use of online and in-class digital games and game-based approaches to promote deeper student engagement via active and collaborative learning has recently gained prominence. In a gamified quiz environment, what happens is that students uh, are able to take risks because of a safer learning environment. They, they're not afraid to make mistakes. They're able to repeat um, the their, their, their questions. They're able to learn as they go uh, uh, about, uh, yeah, uh, repeating the question, repeating answering the questions. So in, in a way that it, it helps, it promotes their learning. As they make mistakes, they learn from a mistake, and also they promote the learning. Uh, Gamify a quiz as well. If you could actually compare it to um, traditional pen and paper quiz, it employs exciting music, colorful user interfaces, and that these features, you know, uh, keep learners motivated and engaged. Um, and especially good for uh, those who uh, students who who actually want to learn, uh, you know, these dry concepts and uh, dry subjects. For example, chemistry. So uh, our motivation actually was uh, because previously, previously students found that this course, Principles of Medicine and Chemistry, um, quite hard. And um, they requested regular pop quiz. On our side as instructors, we, we actually thought that um, creating questions, marking uh, such formative assessment and providing constructive feedback were time consuming, particularly for a large class. In in uh, pharmacy courses, we tend to get about 115 to 120 students per session. So that that is quite a large number. So we thought of um, you know looking for a digital tool that in in a sense securely conduct the assessment. It allows efficient grading and also it also gives, um, in a sense, uh, uh, learning analytics for the instructors. Yeah? And, uh, and as you know that uh, digital tools nowadays um, is quite easy to get, you know? uh, and, and that also leverages on the digital native purchase for mobile technology. So we went through um, quite a lot. We reviewed a few um, tools, uh, uh, gamified uh, quizzes uh, tools. So one of them, um, uh, sorry, they, 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 there are a few of them. So they have Kahoot, you have Quizlet, you have quizzes. And uh, after looking at all of them, and we found that quizzes provides um, a, a stable and reliable um, uh, environment for a large number of students. Uh, is also quite secure, and in in other words, it actually gives um, uh, delivers most of the uh, the features that we really want to see uh, happening in our our class, yeah, for our students. So uh, for the assessment, um, is the way we do it actually is a totally unsupervised online quizzes during the semester. We did um, we did it three times in week seven. Uh, 11 and 14 it's about three weeks apart yeah and the a quiz yeah a set of quiz would actually have a about 20 to 30 mcq questions with progressive difficulties that evaluate on the blooms uh, taxonomy 
yeah, the, the, the students' thinking uh, levels, um, thinking skills based on the Bloom's taxonomy. And if you can see here uh, as well, I've incorporated a particular question. Uh, this is um, uh, on how many, you know, for example, this one is a question based on a molecular structure. And it asks, and uh, how many strong intramolecular hydrogen bonding for those who are actually doing chemistry yeah, uh, in an acrylate? So from here, students need to actually f assess um, the, the structure and see how many uh, hydrogen, intramolecular hydrogen bonding they can actually, uh, they, they can, uh, they can actually form uh, with the receptor, for example. Yeah? So uh, this MCQ uh, is not a simple you know, um, uh, identifying a particular uh, a particular uh, hydrogen bonding, it it assess the students' um, uh, understanding, yeah, uh, assess student also comprehension in uh, knowing what are the types of hydrogen bonding that can form uh, in a particular molecule, for example, yeah. So this visual based questions challenge students students' critical thinking. Yeah. Uh, so we have other other types of questions actually in, in this particular uh, these three sets of quizzes. Yeah? And uh, at the end of the um, uh, qu the final quiz for data collections, we ask students to voluntary uh, uh, voluntarily to complete an online questionnaire. Okay. There are about fourteen questions. Uh, we ask them about the um, the extent of gamification features, uh, whether they like it, you know, how 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 does actually they contribute to the to learning, types of questions, flexibility, um, and also we also included um, some uh, other elements. That is the the core social media is actually we have a close Facebook group, and we we took in the comments from the students, and also um, we conducted some informal chats with the students to gauge um, the learning gains from them. Yeah? Um, so uh, the overall finding for survey items 1 to 11 and 14, oh, we found that over 95% of the students, uh, there are they are about 116 students altogether, there's about 63 respondent. Yeah? Out of that 63 respondents, 95% uh, thought that the online quizzes were more fun, they enhanced the learning, and more effective than the, tradition, the traditional uh, in-class quizzes. Yeah. We also found that if you see um, at the end of each uh, quiz session, uh, the instructor will get this color-coded uh, learning analytics whereby it will tell for each question uh, which student will get um, the correct answer and which student will get the wrong answer and so on. And it gives you a pattern. Yeah? So from there, uh, as instructor, it, is, it provides a very rapid way to know which question are mostly, um, uh, most of our students were actually found uh, to be like, a, they, they don't really know or they, are, they are still have this misconception between all of them, for example. So, um, so we use this in our class um, post the post quiz as an intervention for the students. And out of that, they felt that, um, that the learning, 98.3% 98, felt that the learning were further enhanced when the post quiz discussion were held. Yeah. So also during this session, we allow deeper questioning from the students. So that helps uh, students in their learning uh, in this course yeah? and similarly about 98 uh, percent felt that um, they've after taking the, taking the online quizzes it made them really easy to understand um, and remember the concept and principles in this particular medicine medicine chemistry course and um, also yeah, similarly, 98% found that um, the progressively uh, challenging question yeah, helped in enhancing learning. Um, but at the same time, about 43.6% felt that the MCQ are uh, kind of easy for them. Yeah. All right. Um, so the out of 
the overwhelming uh, positive response, they are also about 7.8% that felt they still prefer the traditional one hour pen and paper quiz in class um, co compared to the online uh, work. Let's, let's have a look at the comment later, yeah? Uh, maybe uh, see what their, um, their feeling about it, yeah? Um, so in general, we receive about 11 positive comments uh, from the students. Uh, the comments are actually, uh, the feedback, the comments are given at the end of the uh, survey. It's an open-ended question, you know, say, uh, just comment on what you think would, uh, uh, would be helpful for your learning, for example. And they, they uh, whether the quiz actually is helpful for the learning, for example. So they found that it's a new way of learning. And they, uh, they also said that, um, I wish every quiz is conducted this way. Yeah. And um, and this is, I think, in general, the, the third comment is that uh, online quiz is much better than uh, traditional quiz. And I tend to learn from my mistakes. I think this is, I think, uh, first and foremost, what we want students to do as they go along in their learning. And the, she also compared with the traditional ones, uh, for example, we, ha we have the chance to, unlike the, okay, unlike the traditional ones, we have the chance to attempt more than once. So in this, in this quiz session, um, both instructors, myself and uh, Dr. Yap, actually uh, decided to give them uh, about three to five times uh, uh, opportunities to, to repeat the, the, the quiz. So they actually give them the chance to attempt more than once and therefore they learn from the mistake as they go along. So it's not simply a one-off uh, quiz. Um, is mo these quizzes um, serve as a formative assessment for the students. So they actually learn as they go along, uh, you know, fine-tuning their, their, their understanding and, and so on as they go along. Yeah? Uh, there is one comment though on on uh, on a student that said that somehow they need longer duration in these quizzes we give about uh, 50 minutes um, uh, duration uh, for each of the quizzes uh, but somehow i think some felt that they need longer duration um, that can be taken into account yeah in 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 the future uh, quiz uh, uh, session okay about limitation, there I think um, we identified three, three possible limitations uh, that could arise from this um, implementation of this assessment, such assessment. Yeah? One would be um, because the quiz is, is, uh, is unsupervised, so that kind of invites cheating from students. We do give uh, coded codes for, for so if we assign codes for each student so the students when they want to attempt uh, using quizzes they have to enter the codes but i think uh because we don't know what who actually um uh, you know sits who sits behind the screen so we don't know maybe a person can probably use two or three codes uh, to attempt a quiz within that that 50 minutes uh time period or one hour time period so that kind of invites cheating um we could have also introduced um, a supervised quiz, um, but that then will add further limitation in terms of we have to actually, uh, you know, uh, book uh, a computer lab and we have to actually have uh, staff to be in there. Uh, so I think that imposes more limitation in terms of uh, opening up the classroom, yeah, opening up the assessment in a sense. There. So, um, we, we felt that um, if we open up these kind of quizzes, it also invites um, active, uh, invites discussion, invite active and collaborative environment for the students, yeah, to, to have the dialogue between them. So, um, and then we, we found there's also these uh, problems with having stable internet connectivity because quiz, quizzes is a, is a web-based um, uh, gamified quiz uh, tool. So uh, at the same time as well, there's some students who had, uh, who actually liked the, uh, the familiarity with the tool. So they had, um, they need to have some time to get used to the way 
uh, how the tools work and how they can uh, uh, they were able to answer the, the question and so on yeah so overall i've said um the students perception students um uh, you know uh, uh, perception towards the online quizzes are extremely positive they really like it yeah uh, for us instructors um this gamified quiz environment provide um, an efficient way to conduct formative assessment throughout the course for a large a large class yeah um, so and also lastly the the uh, gamified quiz environment foster informal active collaborative learning that we actually want to have in the 21st century pharmacy education so with that thank you um, for listening and if you want to contact me you can contact me uh, at aisha at usm.my and um, i would like to leave you with a quote from rumi yeah to respond to every call that excites you with that thank you